Moving on, the Unity Schools Old Students Association, USOSA, held a press conference on Victoria Island, Lagos. Uh, to air their displeasure concerning the continuous kidnappings and of innocent Nigerians by bandits. A worried that the Nigerian government has not done much to reduce the attacks. Our correspondent Paul George was there and our reports. Insecurity in Nigeria and the bandits attack on the Abuja Kaduna train. That's the theme of this press conference. It was put together by the Unity Schools Old Students Association, USOSA. The coalition of the alumni of Unity Colleges in Nigeria was also represented by member Lawrence Wilbert. They are worried that some of their members have fallen victim to insecurity. Dr. Chine Lumegafu, who died in the Abuja Kaduna train attack, is one such. Angered by the series of wanton killing, kidnapping, rape of thousands of innocent Nigerians by ISWAP, members of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, and numerous other devious, bloodthirsty groups within and beyond our national bond boundaries. They are calling on the government to ensure Nigerians' safety and sustain the economy. By all means, the wanton killings across the country must stop. We buried one of our own, a young lady. Dr. Chinelu Megaphone of Queen's College. The gruesome killing and abduction of scores of staff and pa passengers of the Abuja Kaduna train on the 28th of March 2022 is for us an inglorious crossing of the absolute red line. Other members also lent their voice to this message to the authorities with no words bad. In sharper context, the stress indicators that um, show how bad our situation is, because somebody is talking about now, more than ever before. And this um, discussion we're having today is not partisan. It's not uh, partisan in that sense. It's about our development. We're talking development here. On every stress index of our economy, there's been deterioration. We need our people to be secure. We have a lady, a, a member, who has her four children and her husband. We don't know where they are. We don't know if they're alive. We don't know if they're dead. We have five sisters and so on and so forth. People read and say, oh, they spoke about it. Who are these people? They're just being sentimental or being political or ex. These are our friends. These, these are our family. These are people we grew up with. So the reason why now is that it even touches us more now. The strongest form of peaceful protest for the average citizen, in fact, for every citizen, is the ballot box. If the government does not perform, you vote them out at the ballot box till they understand and recognize that they are there to perform a service and render that service. As insecurity is still a bane in Nigeria, the group wants Nigerians to correct the wrongs by using their voters' cards at the next election. Paul George, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.